This video is, how is Little Red Riding Hood like the healthcare system? So Little Red Riding Hood, she says bye to her mom. She's going to go off through the woods to visit grandma. And then she ends up at grandma's house. And she notices that grandma has big ears. And she says, Little Red says, oh, what big rooms you have for Doppler stethoscope and EKG. And the wolf says, the better to hear you with, my dear. And Little Red says, Oh, what big machines you have for CAT scan and MRI. And the wolf says, the better to see you with, my dear. Then Little Red says, Oh, what big rooms you have for blood labs and colonoscopy. The better to smell you with, my dear. Little Red, Oh, what a big pharmacy you have. Wolf, the better to drug you and rip you off and K-I-L-L -L you, my dear. Okay, so what's the point of all this? It's been my experience that lots of patients come into hospitals and they're kind of dumbstruck by the big size of the hospital. You know, what, what the cathedral was to the Middle Ages persons, the big hospital is now this giant building, the massive wealth that goes into it and science and technology and they're kind of overwhelmed by it and they say things like, oh my, this is so impressive this, you know, big fancy machine or laboratory, okay? And they don't really understand what's going on. They just think technology is progress, so it must be good. And I also noticed that, you know, in front of every hospital in the United States, there's a line of people, like a big river of all these, you know, fat diabetics and hypertensive people. And they all feel like, you know, it's almost like, again, the Middle Ages remind me going for a religious pilgrimage. They think that they're doing something proactive for their health. They're doing something good for their health. They're going to get a test. Today they're going to get an ultrasound, a CAT scan, an MRI, a blood test, a colonoscopy, you know, an EKG, whatever it is. And what I'm trying to say is all of those things are diagnostic tests primarily. Okay, colonoscopy, you can treat, you can remove a polyp, all right. But in general, they go for tons and tons and tons of diagnostic tests, tons of them, okay. And what I'm trying to say is for every person who actually, you, you don't cure a disease by going for a diagnostic test. Yes, it's important to make a diagnosis. It's important to make a correct diagnosis. But in some ways, it's also kind of a joke. And the reason I say that is almost everybody has the same diseases. They all eat the sad diet or some variation of it, low carb, paleo, carnivore, etc. And they all have the same stuff. They're all fat. They're all hypertensive. They're all pre-diabetic or diabetic, and they have the sequela of that. You know, abdominal pressure syndrome, gastroesophageal reflux, coronary artery disease, impotence, uh, cognitive decline. So what I'm saying is the way you can stop these diseases or reverse them is you have to fix the diet. To cure a disease, you need to avoid what causes it. Well, it's usually caused by the diet and toxins. So fix the diet and avoid the toxins. That's how you get better. But you know, one in 10,000 patients wants to go vegan, but that's what will actually get them better from these things. You know, you know, one in 10,000 people will actually sit down, read all the toxins related to their disease and avoid them. But that's what actually gets you better.